Golden Globe goes to... Horn. Oh, yeah, Horn. Natalie Be Becker, The World Unseen. I would like to say thank you uh, to the, the abundant universe and my higher power for all the blessings um, that I have in my life. Winning a SAFTA award for Best Supporting Actress for The World Unseen was an incredible experience. It was a real labor of love, this movie, and everyone was passionate about it, so everybody gave it their best. And just as an actor in South Africa, being part of a great project and seeing that come to fruition, that is the reward in itself. But winning the SAFTA was an incredible affirmation, and it really was the cherry on top of an incredible experience. She thinks a lot of herself. Maybe she should. She owns a business and she's one of us. No, she's not. Why do you see any of our girls looking like that? Like what? Are you blind? Like a man. I came to be cast in the movie quite serendipitously because I'd actually read the book years ago and I tried to contact the author Shamim Sarif, who's also the director of the movie Unseen, to interview her about the book. She never returned my call, so we never got to meet or speak. And then I was uh, doing a movie with John Malkovich called Disgrace, based on the J.M. Kutsian novel, and my picture was up in the production office of Do Productions, which is the co-producer for The World Unseen. Shamim Sarif had not cast the character of Fara yet, and she walked in, looked at my picture and said, that's my Farah, somebody find me that girl. <laughs> I'm not stupid. But there is someone around here who is. And it won't be the first time she's in trouble with the two of you. Working with Natalie was, on the one hand, I can tell you she was professional. She was a dream. She was very prepared. However, I will say that it was also a complete blast because she has a very wicked sense of humor. Um, she, it, it, I tell you what I loved about it was being on a film set can be very long days. And obviously doing the work and getting the, the lines and everything done is, is the key thing. But when you're there for 14 hours a day, you really, to have somebody who's keeping the set alive, uh, keeping things interesting, and who's just fun to be with, with a sense of humor is great. Who's that? You know who it is. Natalie Becker. Yes. On Good Hope FM. While I was studying economics and industrial psychology at UCT, I got involved with UCT radio and the bug bit. I loved radio. I've always loved music. I've grown up with it. So it was exhilarating to be on air. After I graduated, I worked in finance and then realized that I wasn't being fulfilled creatively, I wasn't really feeding my soul, I wasn't following my bliss. I went through a bit of a mini crisis where I quit everything. I quit my job, moved out of my apartment. I was sleeping on a friend's, friend's couch, drinking coffee every night and crying myself to sleep. Until I came across a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. And it has a series of affirmations, but the big revelation for me was that I had a choice. It says it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter what your circumstances are. Now, you can choose abundance, happiness, joy. Choose what you want. It's Mr. with Blackberry Molasses uh, taking you back on a trip down memory lane with that one. New Kids on the Block, Neo, and the single is called Single. Leonardo I realized then that when you create from the inside out, you draw to your life the things that you want. That we are all creators, really, and we carry the power to create the lives that we want with the magic wand of choice. And I thought about the elements I wanted in my life. I wanted lots of free time, to be financially independent, to be creatively fulfilled, to have a voice, to make a meaningful contribution to the world. So I put the elements out there. Within a couple of weeks, I was offered a job in advertising, and one of my clients happened to be a radio station. Radio then led to television, television led to film. I'm also an MC and a public speaker and a writer, and the rest is history. I should never have gone out with him in the first place. You have a right to happiness, Tandiswa. Don't deprive yourself of it because you think the world's going to judge you. What do you really want? I love radio as a medium because it's powerful and it's immediate and reaches many, many people. It's also wonderful to be able to have a voice and have the creative freedom to engage and entertain and inform people's reality in a positive way and really being a friend. You know, because when you're on radio, you're speaking to each and every person individually, and that's what you want people to feel, like you are their friend. So I love radio. You're early. Very early. 
What happened? The market's closed. Closed? Why closed? Film, I love as a medium. For me, it's acting is really about telling a story and being honest. So it really is about stripping the layers and getting to that kernel of truth in the emotion, what it means for you. It's 20 to 7, time for your dining out review. Remember, listen up for the competition question right after the feature, and you can win a meal for two at this fabulous restaurant. Yeah. I also love speaking. I'm an MC and I am a public speaker. It's exhilarating and thrilling for me working with a live audience. Um, where they feed off you and you feed off them and there's a wonderful energy going. I also love television. Um, it's not as immediate as radio unless it's live television, but it's visually very powerful.